Sunday the 5th of February, um, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm at the gym, as you may have guessed from my surroundings. It is Sunday, but yeah, I've still got some clients in this morning. I've got Sophie in first, and then Annie and Katie. I'm just gonna do a day in the life once again, a full day of eating, vlog style. I'm gonna train myself, so there'll be some training footage for the first time in a while. And yeah, I'll um, take you along with my day. Partway through my session with Sophie, and I'm so chuffed. So, her aim was to deadlift 60 kilograms, and she started with me middle of January, and today she's just done four sets of two, she's there in the background. Four sets of two at 60 kilograms, and they flew up, amazing. Arms down, three, two, one. Katie, go, 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 good. <laughs> Session finished with Katie and, I can't even get my fingers right, Annie. So, done really well, even though they've been morning or morning. Have you found it? Good. Enjoyed yourselves? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> right, my session next. It is now half ten, and I've managed to procrastinate half an hour, but I'm now going to start my workout, so today I've got another lower body focused workout, so I'll try and include a few clips. Now this is my workout for today, so I've got some straight leg deadlifts, which I'll probably do with dumbbells, single leg back extension, that's a new exercise I've not done before, stability ball leg curl, a line leg curl, some banded hip thrusts, and I'm going to finish up with some Turkish get ups, so very hamstring focused today's workout. <laughs> single leg back extensions. It was an exercise that I'd seen Brett Contreras doing one of his programs, but I'm not too sure if I liked it, if I'm honest with you, so I might have to have a sink and change that one. from Brett Contreras, so it may look weird with your feet sole to sole together, but yeah, you can really feel it. You may not have seen that exercise done before, so those are called Turkish get-ups. So I used to do them ages ago, um, but I haven't done them for a long time. But they're really good for your core, really good for core control, and they get you get your heart going. Good for flexibility as well. So working with weight, getting it up, up up above your head. I have done it quite a lot heavier than that. I used to do it with like 12s and up to a 15, but I'm just getting my form back down. So I'm just doing sets of eight with six at the moment, but. Yeah, I'm really enjoying incorporating them back into my programme. So I've just got one more set to go and then it's time for Morrison's. The 
it didn't have any fromage fray in Morrison. This is a disaster. Okay, that was a slight overreaction, but yeah, it's my favourite because it tastes so much better than Greek yogurt. We've had to had to compromise and get a tub of Greek yogurt and just stocked up on the rest of the fruit and veg that we needed. I have no idea how these got in here. For breakfast, I've just got my usual scrambled egg whites with veggies and a fried egg, which is about to split some ham, reduced sugar, ketchup and salsa, and then I've got a bagel in here too. I'm now off to meet Alex and Mabbit for a cuppa. from a cuppa with Mabba and Alex. I am now having another cuppa. Um, so I've just got another cup of green tea and I've got some Ribena. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of study work. Uh, well, business. So just going to do that um, for the rest of the afternoon. And I'm probably gonna have some protein oats in, it's three o'clock now, about an hour maybe, if I can hold off that long. So I'll show you them when I get them. You know I'm a big fan of a quote, and this is another one that's just come up. So, there we go. I'm gonna focus. People do anything for those who encourage their dreams, justify their failures, allay their fears, confirm their suspicions, and help them throw rocks at their enemies. Hello, it has somehow got to half past five, and I'm yet to have another meal. I just got a little bit carried away with work. Got to look really hard, I've been sat next to the radiator. Um, so, I'm going to make myself some protein oats. So I've just got some oats, some protein powder, I've got a courgette, and then I'm just gonna to top it with some fruit as well. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. with water, just filled it up and covered it with water, popped it into the microwave for a minute, um, took it out, give it another stir and then I'll just keep putting it back in for intervals of about a minute, keeping an eye on it, make sure it doesn't explode um, until it's cooked or the desired consistency. There is no set time, um, every time I do it, it takes different amounts of time, so yeah, just keeping an eye on it and keep doing it until you like it. I'm gonna just put in a serving of Nutella and then top it with my fruit. Also, just gonna put a little bit of ground cinnamon on as well. And this right here is one of my absolute favorite meals. So you may think it's a little bit weird that I've put courgette in it, but I promise you, you cannot taste it. It just makes a lot more volume, that's all. And um, yeah, can't wait for this. <laughs> My favourite part of oats is when I get to the end and I stir it in and all the Nutella goes all the way through it. Mm -hmm. So this is like nutella -y porridge and I save it for the last bit. I am now freshly showered and washed. It is Sunday tea time. It's about half seven, about a quarter past seven. So we're just going to make our tea. I apologise for this face, but I'm not putting makeup on just for um, just to make a video. Okay, so we have just got some plum tomatoes which we've halved with some salt and pepper and some a little bit of basil. We're just going to pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes. And then we've just got a couple of rashes of this Eat Smart ooh, and Counted Bacon Medallions frying up. So for two rashes it is just 63 calories. In here we've got some loads of green veg. It'll focus. Loads of green veg, so we've got in here some leeks, some sprouts, some broccoli. We're chopping up some sun-dried tomatoes. 
We've got some Cosetti, some Gorgonzola, a little bit of this New Me Morrison's pesto. Reduced fat pesto. Look at the difference next time you're in the supermarket between the reduced fat pesto and normal pesto. It is crazy. Um, some garden peas as they're my current obsession. And then we just pre-cooked some chicken earlier on. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it all together in one big bowl and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is my dinner, so it's just all those veggies and then it is just topped with the oven roasted tomatoes and then about 10 grams of gorgonzola. We had exactly the same thing for dinner last night so I know it's going to be delicious. And also it is a huge amount of food for about 300 calories I think, so yeah, volume eating at its best. So a fellow YouTuber from America who is much, much bigger than me um, said that if you put cheese or peanut butter on anything, it makes anything taste better. I obviously can't have peanut butter because I'm allergic, so I'm going to substitute that with Nutella. But I can tell you that adding gorgonzola to this has made it even more delicious. Mm -mm. And only 10 grams, which is barely anything. I think it's like a third of a serving, which was about... 30 40 calories or something but yeah definitely worth it think about it nutella well peanut butter or cheese or anything yeah should make it taste better so i'm just working out from my fitness pal what i can have in my final meal of the day so like my junk bowl basically so depending on what macros i've got left will determine normally like the topping so i'll always have fromage fray and protein always have some form of fruit and then normally like biscuits some jelly and stuff just whatever i have to make up my macros and um, they didn't have any from ashray morrison's like i said so we've ended up with some yeo valley zero percent stuff so hopefully it tastes as nice Um, might look a bit of a mess but yeah i'll um put it together show you what i have yeah, I'll just show you this before I add other stuff on. So I've just got the yogurt mixed with the protein powder, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, kiwi, which is my current favourite fruit, just a bit of sugar-free jelly. And then on top of that, I'm just going to add five grams of this high-fibre bran, just for some crunch. One of these milk chocolate thin digestive, which I featured in my January favourites. And then just one of these Biscoff biscuits as well. My sister's having these, but I'm not a massive fan. So, and I'm also going to top it with some of this butterscotch sugar-free syrup and some cinnamon as well. And that is my um, dessert. A little bit of this new me light vanilla ice cream from Morrison's. So you knew it was coming. <laughs> Last thing of the day is a square of this green and blacks milk chocolate with caramel, salted caramel in. It's okay, it's definitely not as good as the Morrison's one. That is the best one. So that's gonna finish up my day of eating today. Okay, I'm back, I lied. I'm finishing up the night with one of these little Oreo eggs. So yeah. Bought these today at Morrison's. We got the um, big bag mix. So per egg, I think they're about 60, 70 calories. Squeezed in, I've not just gone a tiny bit over. But yeah, if you could, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.